Hello and welcome to Fountain FX on Tuesday the 6th of May 2014. Um, key thing that we're going to get from today in terms of looking at the market is the importance of looking at price action as it is today and not necessarily using previous price action as the be all and the end all. If we look here today, we've got the euro US dollar on the daily chart. We can see that price is starting to push down, but it's sort of held up here around about the 138. Today, we've now had a very, very strong rally upwards in the euro. Now, why is that? If we go into a lower time frame, we can have a closer look, but then I'm going to switch over to the news and you'll see exactly why. On the 15 minute chart, we can see now because of price action here, if I scroll to the left, hopefully we'll, we'll uh, get a better view of the price before it opens. See here, last night price was in this area of consolidation, in fact the whole of yesterday. There was not a lot of activity at all between the 138.84 and the 138.72. Very much consolidation, so we're only looking at 12 points. Price was stuck between these highs and these lows here. So very much a consolidated area, so use of the consolidation strategy. If we scroll to the right, wait until price breaks out. We're looking at here, now at 9 o'clock this morning, is price breaking out of this area, it's starting to push up, it's broken above the 138.83, great, no problem. Now the other thing to note is if we quickly flick over to the news, and the key thing that we need to note in terms of the euro and the US dollar is the news that comes out. Now, it's not red news, it's just saying it's influential, but the one thing we need to know is at 9 o'clock this morning, the Spanish unemployment change came out. They were expecting a reduction of 49,000 unemployment. Okay, so 49,000 new jobs, basically, or, or people coming off unemployment. Previous month was 16,000. This month, the actual figures was 111,000, more than double what was forecasted. So that, just in itself, is a massive change. The Spanish economy, being probably one of the weakest economies in Europe, has now literally yeah, had a 112,000 new jobs created in the last month. If you're looking at that, we can also then see services, PMI, has gone up from 54 to 56, so therefore the manu manufacturing index has gone up. Italy's pretty much flat, and then obviously 10.30, we've got Britain adding to that, has got a good PMI figures as well. So in terms of the European zone, at 9 o'clock, that was extremely good news that came out, despite the fact that it's only for Spain. If it was for Germany or France, that would have had even bigger impact. But if we now go back to the actual chart, so based on previous price action, this area of resistance should have retained and we should expect price to be pushing back. But at 9 o'clock, we've now got some very, very positive news on the euro. And therefore, we're on a 15-minute chart. We're looking at the break here of the area of resistance, the 138.83. And then we get the break. And then after that, we just get the surge of momentum upwards. If we go down to a smaller time frame, we can see on the five minute chart that at this point here, we've got the break. So just bef just at nine o'clock, we've got the break of the resistance at 138.83. We then have another uh, bullish candlestick that closes. So this is giving you an indication of an entry point here to buy at. So if you look there, 138.86 would have been a buy, price pulled back down, but eventually it surged forward. We're looking at the fact that also the MACD was strong in that direction. So we had the MACD saying pushing up, we had price pushing up, we also had positive news on the euro. Okay, so therefore it was called buy. So even if we bought at the top of there, I mean there was a little pullback from there, but we bought at the top of there, 138.86. Okay, you could have put your stop down here below the lows. So, um, trying to think where that price is. Let's see, 138.76. So you've got a 10-point risk. So you turn around, you buy there. Where's the price now? We're at 139.26. So price has gone up um, 10, 20, 30, 40 points. Okay, in a matter of two, three hours. So 
we had risked 10 and made 40. So that's a 4 to 1 return. We'd be out. If you look at price, how it's now starting to go sideways, great idea to say exit now. And you've made 40 points on that trade. So it's a good example of trade in the moment. Yes, be aware of what price has previously done, but also trade in the moment. When price is consolidated, expect it to spring out with force. It's been flat for the last day because of um, bank holidays, etc. There was no activity, no volume in the market. This is the first day back. We've got positive news in the euro and price is just rocketed in one direction. So it's a no-brainer. It's a way to take easy profit out of the market. And that's it for today. Trading Tips 101 from Fountain FX. Happy trading. Bye.